We are with first selectman Pat Lodra and Newtown Finance Director Robert Tate to answer this taxpayer's question, which we're going to actually ask in two separate parts. Um, Mrs. Lodra and Mr. Tate, the first half of the question is, uh, there's much talk about a 0.15% or $58,000 increase in the budget, but it appears that underneath there's an $800,000 increase over the amended budget. Can you speak to that? Yes. The approved budget for 2009-2010 is $37,401,766. The proposed budget for 2010-11 is $37,458,881. The year-over-year -year difference is $57,115, or 0.15%. The 0.15% increase in the proposed Board of Selectmen budget results in an increase in taxes of 0.15%. In early January of 2010, the Board of Selectmen amended its spending plan by $805,979 to reflect a reduction in revenues. That reduction in spending was accommodated through savings from a bond sale and elimination of funds from the approved budget for department level work. The purpose of officially modifying the spending plan was to ensure three things two things, sorry, that the reduction in revenues was widely recognized and so the departments could not spend the originally approved amounts. Further, the amended spending plan was a necessary starting point for preparing the budget for 2010-11. Um, my, my say on it is um, if you're going to compare two budgets, the, uh, the Board of Selectmen budget and the Board of Education budget, uh, a comparison of apples to apples, it's only fair that you compare the adopted budget um, from 2009-10 to the Legislative Council's adopted budget. Um, even so, even if you use both differences comparing adopted adopted or amended to adopted, if, if you look through the detail, uh, it's interesting, you'll find you know, on, in the Board of Selectmen's budget um, that most of the, both of the differences uh, are pretty much the same in each department. Um, so as you go through this document, you'll see adopted to but adopted and amended to adopted. You'll see, for the most part, they're uh, similar. There, there aren't any big differences. Uh, the big difference which makes up the $800,000 that everybody's talking about really is uh, when you get to debt service. Uh, and that difference is because when you use the amended to the adopted, you, you're losing the savings that we accomplished when we amended the budget. Um. The uh, second half of the question also observes that uh, it appears that there is a $450,000 increase due to a shift of expenses to the CIP and a $1 million increase due to a townside reduction in debt service expenses which is then allocated strictly to the benefit of the town side of the budget. Uh, relative to the $450,000, I think it's important to put that in the context of what funds uh, were available last year for uh, purposes of roads and bridges. Um, in 2009-10, the budget included $400,000 for roads, $450,000 for bridges, our uh, federal stimulus money, which did not appear in the budget, but would nevertheless came to the town for the purpose of road and bridge improvement, was $550,000. And town aid to road, which is a state grant uh, of $235,000. The town aid for roads never appeared in the budget as either revenue or expenditure, but was money available and used for road repair, road improvement. The total of all of those funds is $1,635,000. Highway Department funding in 2010-11, as proposed, has in the budget $1 million for road repair, 
$450,000 in the CIP specifically targeted to repair a bridge dam, which is in bad, uh, in bad status, and the TAR money, which is now in the budget in the contingency account, of $235,000. The total of all of those accounts is $1,685,000. Uh, the difference between those two totals is $50,000. In meeting the challenges of increased costs and reducing reduced revenues, the town side has the advantage of being able to use savings that come to us through uh, bond sales that might be more advantageous and therefore save us costs that we would have to have otherwise paid out in principal and interest. This past year, we were able to take advantage of that activity two times. The first time was to help to address the revenue deficit that we experienced in 2009-10, and the second time was to help offset the increased costs in the budget without passing those costs on to the taxpayers in the 2010-11 budget. Uh, Mr. Tate has a better explanation of how those numbers work, but that is the concept I think that is being uh, raised when the question comes up of how savings are used on the town side of the budget. I think the uh, taxpayers are uh, referring to our refinancing savings on our bonds when they talk about a million dollar savings. Uh, however, uh, the debt service was uh, going to go up this budget year, so that million dollars really offset it. If you look at the, the difference in debt service between adopted and adopted, uh, we saved seven hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. If you look at the difference between the amended and adopted, we saved two hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars. So you, you don't see the million in there. Uh, the million actually offset an increase we would have had in debt service. 